Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. After we did our video about the Seagate 5Q to 520, all of these storage vendors started emailing us asking if we wanted to test out their best storage products. A lot have been claiming that they had the fastest product. All of them, however, were PCIe Gen 4 products, but one product really stood out to me, and the claim was that Gigabyte had a Gen 3 drive that was actually faster than any of those single Gen 4 drives currently available. And that's where the two terabyte Aorus RAID SSD comes in. I, th I think this might be cheating a little, but let's check it out. Let me get this out of the way first. This drive's not cheap and it's definitely not for everyone. If you want flat out speed on PCIe Gen 3, this drive is king. This is the fastest drive. There's no questions about it. Now, this is a PCIe drive that slots into a by 16 slot on your motherboard. However, it's only a by 8 card. And the thing is that makes it different from any other drive offerings. Although it's a single card, is it's not actually a single drive. It's four 512 gig NVMe SSDs in RAID 0. The Aorus RAID SSD is Gigabyte's fastest Gen 3 consumer grade SSD to date. And it's really focused at the content creator market and the workstation market. And it's, it's not really designed to be used as permanent storage. Well, not in RAID 0 anyways, I wouldn't recommend it for that use case. And it offers peak sustained read and ride speeds of around 6,000 megabytes per second. Uh, that's a whole lot faster than any other single Gen 4 drives available right now. But it's Gen 3, which makes it really interesting. The Aorus RAID uses the Fizen E12 controller on each of the drives and a server grade Marvel RAID controller to create the array. It's fully configurable in your BIOS or via the Aorus Storage Manager in Windows. And if you're using Linux, I would just configure in the BIOS and that's the easiest way to do it. Also, you can actually boot from this drive if you want to as well. It supports RAID 0, 1, and 10, and that's pretty standard for these Marvel controllers. It comes with a five year limited warranty and should give you around 1.8 million hours of use or around about 205 years and yeah that's pretty standard warranty stuff for any SSD on the market at the moment. Now all of that is well and good and all that info is available by using your good old friend Dr Google and it's also on all the drives product page but that's not what we do here that's just uh that's just uh, scratching the surface or that's just the tip of the iceberg Claire what's the saying for that kind of thing I don't, I don't know anyway a few weeks ago we tested all of our available drives and I've slowly been adding it to our database of SSDs and the way we usually test this is we fill every single drive up to its 50% of capacity then we run five different types of tests we run those tests 20 times and calculate the average speed of all of those tests conducted there's like 600 tests in that run alone. And we run a test on the one gigabyte setting, the four gig, 16 gig, 32 gig, and 64 gigs on all the drives to give those results a little bit of context. And I also decided to only test the Aorus RAID SSD in RAID 0 because that's what the intended use case for this drive is. So don't ask why we didn't test it in RAID 1 or RAID 10. Also, if I don't have the results for a certain drive, then I clearly don't have one to test. Please don't ask why we didn't test a certain drive. I literally don't have one. Anyway, as usual, prepare your eyeballs for any of drives. Let's do it.
testing, it's pretty clear that the 2 terabyte Aorus RAID SSD pulverizes every other drive in sequential reads and writes, and also in the random reads and writes with the appropriate queue depth. And it also makes all of the other drives look pretty dang silly. And it does all of this while remaining whisper quiet. And I didn't need to do any acoustic testing because I literally could not hear this drive at all. All of this is well and good, but to be honest, it's not really telling the whole story. The Aorus RAID SSD is actually four drives in RAID 0 and it acts like any other type of RAID 0 setup. And I'm not going to waste your time and explain how RAID works because we could be here all day, but the short answer is RAID 0 combines the storage of all the drives. So in the case of the Aorus RAID SSD, four 512 gig SSDs. And it combines them into a single drive and multiplies the read and write speeds on a scale. Basically, it's super fast, it can be super unreliable, but in the right use case, it can save you lots of time and speed up your workflow. As with anything like this though, the disk drive is just not for everyone. Gigabyte's intended use case for this drive is RAID 0, even though it does support RAIDs 1 and 10, like I already mentioned. Yeah, and they're all supported, and there's lots of resources online that can break down all of this for you if you want to know how RAID works, but I'm not going to do it in this video because this video will probably go for like four hours because I just go like super nerdy and everyone will start crying and they're just unsubscribed. Anyway, going back to what I said at the start, this drive is pretty expensive, but you're getting some pretty ridiculous speeds with PCIe Gen 3. You're basically hitting that theoretical limit. And like with all of our other storage related content, whether you actually need this speed is completely up to you. You know, if you've got the money to burn, to spend on this kind of stuff, that's also up to you. Personally, with my use case, I don't think I'd use this drive. And the only reason is uh, my workstation is a third gen Threadripper. And if it's not PCIe Gen 4, then I just won't use it. And that's just me being me. I don't know. What can I say? But if you're not on a system that's got PCIe Gen 4 and you want PCIe Gen 4 speeds, the Aorus RAID SSD might just be for you. And if you do the math and add up the cost of building out a drive like this with your own parts, it's going to cost you more money than actually buying the Aorus RAID SSD and you'll get less features than the Aorus RAID SSD. So I think there's actually some value to be had with this drive. If you're interested in grabbing the Aorus RAID SSD, it's going for around 500 US dollars, around 759 Australian dollars at the time of filming this video. And like I mentioned, it might sound like a lot of money, well, that's because it is a lot of money, but this drive is not designed for the average consumer. It has all of this enterprise RAID goodness in a tiny package. I think it's pretty dang cool. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think it's a pretty cool concept. Uh, it's kind of like a clap back to themselves because they've got their PCIe Gen 4 RAID cards as well. And also, spoiler alert, we have a video coming soon with four of those Seagate Firecuda 520s in RAID 0 on a PCIe card as well. And yeah, I want to see how fast I can make it go on a third gen Threadripper system. So yeah, stick around for that. That's coming in the next week or so. I'm not sure. But yeah, I want to hear your thoughts on this drive as well. If you guys like this video, you know what to do. Please like and subscribe. Consider hitting the join button or supporting us on Floatplane. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do. And tell us what you hated about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And he, here's another question I want to pose to you guys. Do you think that this is a bit late in the life cycle for PCIe Gen 3? I, I'm curious to hear your thoughts because I personally think this drive is the definitive PCIe Gen 3 solution. I think it might be the best. I don't know. Not being a shill, that's just what I think. The numbers are right there. You can figure that all out for yourself. Thanks for watching.